the way Ken Griffin kind of set it up, he's saying, hey, you can make that bold choice or basically you can play it safe, things with a valuation that's more safe. Do you agree that that's the proposition that investors are facing right now? I don't think it's safe. It's, it's parts of the market that, have, are, that are not picked over yet. There's a lot of valuation away but is, from but the But isn't that safe? Out. I mean, as opposed to buying something that's, you know, rising 200% uh, over the last year, like an NVIDIA, something that a lot of people consider overbought, isn't it just flat out safer to go to things that you say aren't picked over? Well, but I look at it a little bit differently, that there's more upside in a lot of those, because a lot of these, a lot of companies away from the MAG-7 and some of the companies where there is excess valuation, we're about to shift fiscal policy again. Uh, I mean, we're going to, uh, monetary policy, rather. So, it, you know, some of the things that were tail, headwinds in terms of being uh, restrictive are going to become tailwinds, and that should be better for lower price earnings, multiple stocks. All right. So I know you're really focused on valuation. You and I, we chatted on the yeah. phone yesterday, and you're also bullish on the small caps. But I do have to point out, uh, the Russell 2000, the small caps, trading at 24 times forward earnings, the S&P only at 21 times forward earnings. So if you're worried about valuation, why are you bullish on the small caps? That's not exactly a fair comparison because there's a big component of the Russell benchmark that has the non-earners, a lot of biotech and early stage technology companies that might be, many of them are pre-revenue and are loss-making companies. What I'm saying is focus on profitable companies. There's okay. a lot of profitability within the Russell, and those are much more reasonably valued. So how do you balance the whole idea that higher for longer is tougher for these smaller cap stocks? A lot of them have less cash than the mega cap tech stock. I mean, right, obviously. Right, right. Uh, a small cap's not going to have the same cash on hand that an Apple is going to have. And then generally they're seen as more interest rate sensitive. So how do you balance your thesis being bullish on small caps at the same time we are in higher for longer um, and PEs higher? Markets discount the future. So, you know, our view has always been that uh, the market was that uh, the Fed was going to begin to cut rates most likely by mid year or just after mid year. And that seems to be uh, how it's going to play out. Certainly, yesterday's CPI data uh, reinforces the fact. And I think Ken Griffin is 100% right. You don't want to make a policy mistake at this point, cutting too early and then having to have to go back and fix things in the future is going to cost, uh, cost a lot to the economy. All right.